I'm Lance. Today I'm going to be reading the book Michael V. Fall of Hades. This is the seventh book in the Michael V. series, and this book is written by Richard Paul Evans. In the beginning of this book, members of the Resistance find a newspaper ad from a company that claims to be called V. Electric. They see that there's no company in the U.S. with that name. They find a hidden message in that newspaper ad that reads Elgin SOS. They think it's from a man named Welch. He used to work for Hatch, but escaped after Hatch ordered him to be executed after he failed a mission. They, re they call the number on the newspaper ad and realize that he needs help getting out of Taiwan where Hatch is looking for him in exchange for information. Later, Michael and his friends are given the mission of rescuing Quentin, Tara, and Torsten. They were electric kids that worked with Hatch, but betrayed, but betrayed him and helped Welch escape the Elgin jail and go to Taiwan. They need to go to an island called Tuvalu to rescue them, but then they found out that their captain worked for the Elgin. They capture him and they head to the prison. They free all the prisoners on the island and they fight against the Elgin. Mike, since Michael was using so much electricity to fight, he climbs a tower to get more. Then he gets hit by lightning and disappears. The rest of them steal one of the Elgin's main ships and leave with the prisoners. I give this book an 8 out of 10. This was a great book full of story. I liked how they showed Michael getting more and more electric as the story goes on. I also liked the detail in the final fight. This book killed two important characters, which I thought made the story more interesting. I thought it was very unrealistic how Michael got shocked by lightning and how the book showed his thoughts after he was hit. Wouldn't he die instantly? Thank you for watching, and please check out my channel for more book reviews.